All right, this is a bit of a different video completely than I normally do on my channel, but seeing as I don't get that many guitars, I figured I'd do one because I didn't see anybody unboxing any SX guitars at all. So basically it's a budget brand. This thing was, it's a Les Paul. It was not even 200 shipped to my door. Um, it was 190 with shipping and it shipped really fast too. Uh, in comparison, I have a Chibson Les Paul, and that is something you get on AliExpress. It's normally a copy of a Gibson, and that is normally a bit lower quality, has crappy pickups, has just, it's, it takes forever to ship, and the, the, the store that you get it from is a little iffy sometimes. So this is something that was cheaper than that, shipped locally and was here really fast and hopefully should be a lot higher quality than the chipson that i have which i have upgraded and i'm going to do a bit of a comparison with that however i'm not going to just turn this into like some kind of guitar channel i'm just because i'm only going to do a few videos i figured i'll just put it on the tech channel and it'd be something different so anybody that likes guitars or especially budget guitars. I, I do enjoy budget guitars because it's amazing what you can get, especially nowadays. I had one SX guitar when I was younger. Uh, I was broke, and I actually bought one of those like 40 bucks. It was the biggest piece of shit that I have ever owned in my life. And I actually only recently got rid of it. <laughs> um, but this is, is more expensive than that one and should be a a lot higher quality and especially today with what you can get i see a lot of people getting harley bentons for budget guitars this is my dollar store cutting tool <laughs> um it's it's come in handy a lot before but it's not always the sharpest thing in the anywhere so yeah this is something i always have on me to either cut something or do something at work sometimes when i actually realized that I forgot a razor blade or something nothing don't use it for anything too special because then it would just turn into crappy work but yeah comes in handy for cutting things anyways so yeah this is a so it should be red from what I saw on the page I hope it's red <laughs> it's one of the problems with buying guitars online and not locally so this is the packaging. If it was a Chips and Les Paul, normally the Chips and Les Pauls are, uh, they're packaged in like styrofoam boxes and covered in tape and all this other stuff. But I like the way this one looks. Packaging seems okay. Seems adequate. Like I said, it came to me. I wasn't expecting it today. They sent me the tracking today. When it was supposed to show up today, I was questioning that it was going to show up today. So this comes with a Allen wrench for adjustments. And I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. I should have actually casted my screen onto the Allen. <laughs> my mic dropped. Mic dropped. Okay. I have my mic taped on. And uh, the tape isn't the best. I really need to get a replacement mic clip. Anyways, I don't know. Well, it looks like everything's in. This is just the, like I said, the Allen wrench. I have a multi-tool with all this stuff on it, so I don't really need this Allen wrench. But, ah, eh, whatever, I'll keep it. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if we can keep this mic from falling. And, uh, here we are. I just bumped the, into the stand. Let's unpackage. There's nothing else in here that I'm aware of. Nope. We'll unwrap the guitar. Okay. Just pull the plastic off. And wow, that looks beautiful. It's exactly what I thought, you know, what I wanted it to look like when I saw it. So, yeah. If you can see it, the finish, you know, let me bring this up here. Neck's a little thick, I'd say. Guitar feels a tad light, which I'm not surprised. Uh, but that's not really an issue, because a lighter guitar can be easier to play for a certain amount of time. 
And I know something that people tend to look at sometimes, or a lot of the times, is the headstock. Um, people want the Gibson headstock, but this is, of course, not the Gibson headstock. I do not... After using my Chibson, the Gibson headstock hasn't really... <laughs> It's not as interesting to me anymore. And I started to like things like the Epiphone headstock and all that. Although, if, if I had a whole bunch of money, I'm sure I would have blown it on a Gibson Les Paul. However, for a bedroom player like myself, this would be fine. This will also be just fine for someone who is maybe learning just a mod platform. Something for someone like myself who wants to upgrade it. And here we are. And I feel like this is definitely lighter than my Chibson. Um, looking at the quality, the nut is definitely better than what I had on my Chibson. But I would definitely... It does not look good. <laughs> I would say that the nut could use to be replaced. Um, so I'm looking at things that I could do to this. this the nut looks a little crooked. And a replacement seems to be in order for that. Um, the body looks phenomenal. It's gorgeous. Uh, let's see. Do we have a... So it looks like there's a heel joint on here. As well as a scarf joint up on the neck here. The tuners are just kind of random tuners. This is made in China. Uh, so it is, in fact, a guitar that is made in China. Let me pull this, this plastic off of here. Maybe. <laughs> but the quality does... Let me see something here. One of the issues I had with my old... With my Chibson was that the neck was actually glued in a little crooked. And I had to actually make a lot of different adjustments for that. To get it to be playable and the action was super high so it was a pain in the ass to play however i did put new pickups in it and it sounds great and i just spit on myself so we're going to take the plastic off of this and okay so we have these these are actually nicer these are I would say are higher quality than what I had on that Chibson. So it feels like an average, kind of like an Epiphone. So we have a little binding there. So normally if you were going to get an Epiphone or something, you'd be looking a little over 400 or something, probably like this. I don't think this has like push-pull pots. No, no push-pull pots or anything. The bridge is a little bit different. The bridge hardware is interesting. Uh, it's the complete opposite from what I'm used to on an Epiphone. But that's the bridge hardware if you wanted to look at it. It's a little bit different. It's a little fatter, I think. Let's we'll see how that works. Let me just take some pl more plastic off. We have our uh, scratch plate here. Like that. And I got people yelling at each other upstairs. <laughs> um, as far as it is out of the box, let's see. Yeah, it's not in tune. Oh, my mic went again. One second, let me not drop the guitar. Bye-bye, mic. Oh, it, it, it seems to have magnetized or something to the... Do I have more tape? Okay, so what are we going to do here? <laughs> Trying to figure out how I can get this thing to stay. Um, just, uh, let's see. So, I'm not exactly sure. They didn't say what kind of fretboard this is. I don't know if it's rosacea or what, but you're not allowed to have rosewood. I think the fretboard looks all right as far as the conditioning, like, I may want to put a little oil on it, just a little bit. I'm not sure what these pickups are. They didn't. I think they're just whatever generic. Their pickups. They don't really say what they are on the listing. 
okay, I've returned. Uh, apparently, my my um, uh, my camera cut out uh, because it has a ten minute limit. But yeah, the uh, this one feels very loose. This one is a little. I mean, hear the noise it's making. I don't know. I don't know if the mic picked that up, but it makes a little noise. Maybe it'll, I think it's just really tight. Hardware is all right. You know, the switch is okay. It's a little loud. <laughs> Here on the loud side there. Um, you know, the, the parts feel like this is a little on the cheaper side definitely because it is a cheap guitar so it's not like i expect perfection here um but i want to make it sound good and and it looks great to me I'm looking for any possible imperfections because not because i want to complain but because people care and i don't see any kind of like knots in the wood or dings or anything so it looks fine Quality wise, it looks all right. I never thought I was so fat that I would be out of breath making a video holding a light guitar. <laughs> I'm not going to guess on the weight. I'm not good at guessing on that. Um, definitely say that the chips and I have is is um, heavier. But like I said, I don't mind the, the guitar being lighter because when I play the chips and it's um. It, it can be too heavy. It can get a little on the too heavy side. <laughs> so that's part of the video. What does that say? Two-way truss rod. Yeah, it's got a two-way truss rod. I forgot about that part. So dual action truss rod. Um, and like I said, I would probably, if I was going to replace something on here, it would be the nut. I'm not sure about the tuners. Um, I normally seem to be able to make the tuners work. The tuners, when I got my chips in, sucked. And then I just tightened them up and, and did a few things, and they started working really well. I changed the nut out. The nut was really a piece of shit. And I changed that out for a tusk nut, and that worked great. So we'll see what this is. What's this? Uh, okay, so the Rhythm Treble poker chip is cut a little funny. There's a like a little thing there. A little bit of an issue, but I love the finish on this. I love that dark red. I wanted a um, a uh, red Les Paul guitar for quite some time. And uh, I do not mind just making the thing play better and, and work better. So I'd uh, much rather buy a cheap guitar as a starting platform and then upgrade it slowly to something that sounds really and plays really well. I'm not sure I'm going to cha change the pickups just yet because um, I don't know what they sound like. So if they sound fine, I'm going with it. If they sound like shit, then I'll replace them. But I'm not going to use the same pickups I used in my Chibson because I don't want the same. I don't want to feel like I have the same guitar in a different color. <laughs> I want to actually go for a different sound. So if not, if if it's good, it's good. If not, it's not. Take some more plastic off. I need to be less fat so I can stop being out of breath just by making a video. This is pathetic. I should probably just kill myself. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that, by the way. I know some, some people unfortunately have, but that is not in my um, plans of anything to do. And I, I would hope that you don't either. Um, anyways, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm really happy with it so far, especially for the price for less than $200 shipped to my door, like I said. And, uh, I would say that maybe if you, if Harley Benton is actually making the same kind of guitar that you're looking for, you may want to go with the Harley Benton over something like this because, they seem to do a better setup and it seems to be all around better out of the box however because harley benton did not have this type of color um and this was the type of color i was looking for in the finish and everything um this is a heck of a lot better 
out of the box than the Chibson I purchased was. It doesn't have a crooked neck or anything weird. So, really happy. I'm gonna go set this thing up and I'll do one more video about it because I do wanna play it. And uh, I wanna show, show it with, uh, you know, just a little, some setup to it. And uh, that's that. Thank you for watching.